I'm Bree Bragg, and welcome back to another episode of What the Buzz. We are kicking off this week's episode with a little segment that I like to call the quick buzz. Things that made major headlines that you pretend not to care about, but just admit that you do. Number one on the quick buzz list this week is a big announcement that was made. There is a brand new Sexiest Man Alive. In the past handful of years, the Sexiest Man Alive has been a bit of a debate, but it doesn't seem like people are debating on this one. Well, who takes the sexy crown, you ask? Michael B. Jordan. And while many think it is well deserved, there's one person who disagrees which is the former sexiest man alive, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. But of course, he's only kidding, and he did say he would pass over his sexy crown to Michael. Number two on the quick buzz list this week is Florida Georgia Line. Rumors have been circulating all week long that maybe the duo would be breaking up. Because Instagram investigators discovered that Tyler Hubbard and Brian Kelly were no longer following each other on the gram. Which like says a lot in millennial world. Well the band members were confronted about it and we finally got an answer. Tyler Hubbard admitted that he did unfollow Brian Kelly because of their political differences. But says they still remain brothers. Pretty bold for a duo but respectable and it looks like the band is still going to be sticking together after all. And number three on the quick buzz list this week is Christmas. Yeah, a lot of holiday cheer is coming your way because Mariah Carey, the Christmas queen herself, is releasing Mariah Carey's Magical Christmas Special on Apple TV+. And it looks like Mariah isn't the only big star that you're gonna see on that stage because she has enlisted the help of some other big stars. Ariana Grande, Tiffany Haddish, and Snoop Dogg will also be making an appearance. Mark your calendars for December 4th because that's when Mariah will be helping Santa Claus solve a last minute holiday cheer crisis. Mariah Carey isn't the only star this year releasing a Christmas special. Carrie Underwood will be doing the same. Carrie is headed to HBO Max on December 3rd. You can expect to hear some classic tunes from Carrie Underwood as well as some originals from her brand new Christmas album called My Gift that is now sitting at number one on the holiday charts. And now we're moving right along to what the buzz everyone is talking about this week and of course, it's Thanksgiving. Yeah, by the time you watch this, I'll be back home in my kitchen getting prepped for tomorrow's big festivities, as I'm sure the rest of you are doing as well. Well, since tomorrow is Thanksgiving, I thought it was only fitting that the big buzz this week is all about Thanksgiving. So here it goes. Americans eat 704 pounds of turkey every Thanksgiving. Unless, of course, you're from my family who prefers ham, and then you're asking the host why she made so much turkey, and it becomes a thing. And hey, maybe you're the host for tomorrow's Thanksgiving festivities, and you have the daunting task of preparing the bird. Well, here's something that might be helpful to you. There's actually a Butterball Hotline. The Butterball Hotline answers 100,000 turkey-related questions a year. So if you need any help on prepping your bird, well, you know who to call. 1-800-BUTTERBALL. I don't think that's the number, actually. Well, a big tradition in a lot of people's family is watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And have you ever wondered what they do with the balloons after they're done with the parade? Well, they used to do nothing with them. Seriously, they didn't do anything. They just let them go and let them float away. But of course, we're all better people now and that no longer happens. But could you imagine stepping out on your front porch and seeing a giant Garfield above your head? And the very last Thanksgiving stat is uh, not so much fun. It's actually kind of sad. Because a study found that 60% of Americans would rather do anything at all than think of something that they're thankful for. Uh, yikes. Well, apparently I'm not the average American because I am thankful for all of you that are watching my show right now. We 
interrupt this program to bring you... Hey everyone, we are back at Humble Home and today I am bundled up. It is cold outside. It's the perfect day to get some shopping done and to get the scoop on the Black Friday deals happening this weekend. It is going to be a busy week for everybody between Thanksgiving festivities with the family and shopping some amazing deals. And that's exactly what you're going to find here at Humble Home. We're going to go inside, talk to Renee, the owner, and she's going to fill us in on everything we need to know about Black Friday this weekend at Humble Home. Okay, Renee, tell us what kind of deals are going to be happening this weekend at Humble Home for Black Friday. Um, first and foremost, our biggest deal is any time between now and um, Small Business Saturday, which is the day after Black Friday, you come in um, and when you make a purchase, you get a scratch-off card. It's good to be used on uh, Black Friday or Small Business Saturday. And we scratch it off at the register when you check out and everyone is a winner. So everything from 10% off of a single item up to your entire purchase for free. So between now and Small, small Business Saturday, you can come pick those up. Um, on Black Friday, we're, we're open our normal hours. So 10, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And uh, we'll have uh, deals on stocking stuffers. We'll have deals on box cards. We'll have some special sales on some furniture. Um, we do have a truckload coming in that day of uh, some small appliances. So lots of good things happening on Black Friday and Small Business Saturday. So there's no guessing here. My pick of the week this week is Humble Homes upcoming Black Friday sale. Make sure you get here. They are open normal store hours and they have exciting things happening for you all day long going into Small Business Saturday. So make sure you get out, you get shopping, and most importantly, you support local. Back to you in the studio, Brie. And now you've made it to the part of the show where I tell you what the buzz is going on in Kokomo. That's right, the local buzz segment. Well, there's lots of buzz happening this week and this weekend because, well, tis the season. But all of the fun actually starts tonight. Tonight at the Coterie, the reveal will be playing live, coming all the way from Nashville back to the Mo. The reveal, formerly known as the No Name Blues, is going to be rocking the house down at the Coterie tonight. And for only a $10 fee, they will keep you up all night so you are exhausted for Thanksgiving with your family tomorrow. I personally can't wait. The doors open at 5 and the music starts at 9. And hey, while you're at the Coterie this weekend, make sure you show them at the door that you like us, the Kokomo Post, and your first round of drinks is on us. Yeah, we know that you're going to be spending a lot of money this week in Black Friday shopping. Save yourself the cost of a drink. You're welcome. Speaking of Black Friday, this Friday at the Sycamore Social Club is DJ Action Jackson. He's going to be keeping the party going all night long and the Sycamore Social Club has a lot to offer for Black Friday. It looks like they're going to be giving away some gift cards and also be doing a raffle and you could just be the winner of a Jägermeister shop machine. Also happening this Saturday is Small Business Saturday. You can head over to the Kokomo Farmer's Market store and support some of your favorite local businesses. From locally grown food to unique gifting items, you'll find a lot there at the store. And last but certainly not least on our local bus segment this weekend is We Care Park. As all of you know by now, this is the final year for We Care Park and the lights are officially up and ready for you to enjoy one last time. Make sure you get out there, walk the park with your family, take some of your final photos and those memories that you will cherish forever. Let's give We Care Park the proper send off that it deserves. And that's all the buzz for this week. I gotta get out of here and go stuff a turkey. Tune in next week to see what the buzz is going on.